everybody uh, look at my eye. see see how red it is that's ugh, nasty <laughs> that's because of all the pollen around here now my eyes are itching and I'm just going like this and oh, shouldn't do that don't rub your eyes people you end up like this <laughs> So tomorrow I am going for a day hike. I am uh, walking a part of the Heuglandsleden and I'm hoping to walk for about 20 kilometers. Um, and today I'm gonna show you how I prepare for a 20 kilometer day hike. <laughs> so the 20 kilometer day hike, um, hold on, let me let me get you out of there. Okay, that's better. <laughs> the, um, yeah, I'm going to need a backpack for all my stuff. I will be, uh, since 20 kilometers is quite a long trip, think about most people, the average speed is like four to five kilometers an hour. So if you are a pretty fast walker, you usually do about five kilometers an hour. Which means walking 20 kilometers is going to take you four hours. But you you probably want to take a break at some point. You don't want to do four hours non-stop. Um, uh, I'm going to start walking tomorrow at around, I think, 11-ish. Which means I'll probably want some lunch, water and dinner with me. And a way to warm up my food. So I'm going to need a backpack, I'm going to need something to cook my food on, I'm going to need my food, and I'm going to need some water. Um, and I'll bring some other stuff too, because I am filming it for you guys, so I need my phone, a power bank to charge my phone, and maybe some uh, tripods to put down my phone so I can film certain stuff for you. Now, this would all fit in a pretty small backpack. I'm going to use my big backpack because uh, that's good training for when I actually want to go on a multi-day hike to have all that weight with me and to use the backpack that I will be using then. So I'm going to gather all the stuff and uh, I'll show you. Here I have my big backpack. It's a... I don't remember if it was 60 or 70 liter backpack. Um, but it's an Osprey backpack. I really enjoy this guy. Um, I don't need this big of a backpack for this day hike. This is a backpack meant for multi-day hikes where you have your tent and your mattress and your sleeping bag and everything with you. But I'm bringing this one. I do have smaller ones, but I'm bringing this one as training so I can get used to this again for long hikes. Next item, my hiking sticks. These are really good. I started using them last year and I really enjoy walking with them. Like I'm, I have awesome legs. <laughs> I, um, I could walk without this as well, but they're so good. I, I probably make a long video about why I use these but long story short I can walk a lot farther with a lot less becoming a lot less tired with these so they're coming okay next items a little gas can for warming up water and then to warm up warm up the water inside a little pot and as you can see, I've used it directly in campfires. That's why it's kind of black, but it's clean on the inside. And then this little guy, 
Let me get it, get it out of his baggie and I'll show you what it is. So here it is. This is a super tiny fire stove. So you can fold this out, these arms on here. And then there you go. You just screw this on top of the <clears throat> screw this on top of here. And then you have a I'm not gonna screw it down right now because I don't wanna you know use any gas. But put this on top of here, turn it on, and you have a fire. <clears throat> this is the smallest and most lightweight way to carry. Uh, f gas and fire stove with you. It's very lightweight for walking. Like this is so tiny and so lightweight. I love it. And you know, once you fold it back up <laughs> and you know, once you folded it back up, it fits in this tiny little pouch that's like smaller than my hand. Perfect! Next item, water filter. This is my water filter. Dirty water goes in this side, this dirty water goes into this side and clean water comes out of this side. So I can just take this little bag, put this in a lake or a water stream, screw it open, screw my water filter, filter on it, and voila, I've got clean water to drink. So that way I don't have to, um, th this way I don't have to br bring all the water at the same time. I can just have one bottle with me and whenever I get to a water source I can fill up that water bottle. It's perfect. Speaking of water bottles, let me go get a water bottle. All right, one water bottle. Well, okay, I lied to you. I'm gonna bring two, just in case that I don't walk past and source of water. So I should have enough. I don't know how long the walk is gonna take, but uh, bringing a headlamp in case it gets dark it works. And I'm also bringing a normal flashlight. Like I said, a power bank. This power bank is a 30,000 milliamp power bank. It has a solar panel and a flashlight as well. There you go. So this power bank should be able to charge my phone uh, three or four times or even more. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I can charge my phone four times, even more, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, since I'm going to be filming all this stuff, um, I'm going to be using my phone a lot. So that's why I want a power bank with me. Also, let me get a little cable for the power bank because otherwise it's useless. Okay, I got myself a cable for charging the my phone with and let me show you this. It's a two meter long cable. Why do I take one of these long ones? That way I can leave the power bank in my backpack like this and then still have enough wire to have the phone in my pocket and you know, I don't need to worry about having the back, the power bank and my phone. I don't need to worry about having the phone and my power bank in the same hand. I can just leave the power bank in my backpack and still charge my phone in one of my pockets. Now, if I were to go on a multi-day hike where I just or have my backpack and I will be walking for multiple days, then I wouldn't bring such a long cable. Um, I will bring a short one because a long cable just weighs too much and uh, you wanna really, you know, carry as little weight as you can.
Next item. A little thing to start my fire with. And of course, nobody goes on a hike without a good knife. Here we go. As food, I'm bringing three of these. These are just little soups that you put warm water in and after five minutes you can eat them. And then I'm bringing a couple of muesli bars. So these little soups, I've tried them before. I have them with me on other walks. They're nice and light and they fill the stomach pretty good. Um, but I usually eat more than one. So I'm taking three with me. So I can eat two of them for the big meal and one for lunch. And then these little muesli bars, bringing four of them, so these I can eat while I'm walking. So I can just have these in my backpack, get them out and continue to walk while I eat if I want a little snack. And you know, taking a banana and a apple doesn't hurt either. So, that's most of the stuff I'm bringing. Now I am also bringing a rain jacket because the weather today has been kind of back and forth and I have no idea what the weather tomorrow is going to do. So bringing a rain jacket. Well, here it all is. Here's everything I'm bringing. Hiking sticks, rain jacket, the backpack, two bottles, muesli bars for snacks while walking, an apple and a banana, and then uh, a real meal for lunch and dinner. Gas can to warm up my water with in this thing together with the stove. Two flashlights, a flashlight and a headband flashlight. Water filter, water filter bags, power bank with a charging cable and lighters. Okay, now to put it all into the backpack. Okay, I'm putting in the rain jacket first because I'm hoping that I don't have to use it. So that it goes all the way in the bottom. <clears throat> then the water bottles have two nice pockets here on the sides. Actually, I'm not putting those in yet. I'm gonna wait until I fill them, fill them with water because I don't want to forget that. My backpack has a awesome feature like this is the hip band and the hip pockets come with or the hip band comes with pockets for your snacks isn't that amazing I really enjoy that I love that about this backpack just you can have like pockets over there then we put in the Fire canister, gas can, the filter bags, then here in, in the front pocket, putting my water filter and pocket knife, lighters and the stove. And then on the other side is where I put my electronics. So flashlight, headlight, power bank and charging cable. And then we can put the food in here too. <clears throat> um, and this part is called the brain of the bag. It's the lid, but it also has pockets. So I'll be using those pockets for the fruits. There we go. And another cool feature about this backpack, it has a little strap right here on the shoulder patch. And this strap is specially made to hold my hiking sticks. Just grab it, and there we go. Hiking sticks are also part of the backpack now. And I got everything. 
just fill the water bottles and I'm done. I uh, just took a look at the weather for tomorrow and uh, seems to be a nice and warm day without any rain. Still going to bring my rain jacket though, just in case, you never know. Um, because the rain jacket is also a nice thing to sit on if you are going to sit somewhere on a rock or in the middle of the forest. You don't want all the creepy crawlies crawling up your legs, so you can sit on your rain jacket, so that's a good thing. That also reminds me, I need to bring a bandana. One of the things that all hikers have with them, all good hikers with them have with them, is a real good bandana made out of cotton. Cotton is really important. Um, why? These ha serve like so many functions. First off, you can wear them around your neck in case you get cold. You can wear them over your head to protect yourself from the sun. Um, they are also, when they're made out of cotton, a nice protector for your hands when you want to pick up your boiled water because that watering can gets really hot. And they are a good first stage for filtering your water. So if you are filling up a bottle or in my case plastic baggies of water, you put this in front of the opening, that way you already get all the big stuff out of the water. Stuff like leaves and twigs and uh, small little insects, you don't need that in your water. So this will help filter out those bigger things first and then my water filter will take care of the rest. Um, if you ever are in a bad situation, this can work as a sling. Yeah, uh, it can be bandages, it can be anything. So it's good to have a real cotton bandana with you. It's very useful. Since there is so many pollen out there at the moment and I'm a little bit allergic for the pollen that's coming out now, I'm also bringing some uh, medicine for my allergies. Last but not least, I'm bringing this. Um, I was thinking of just bringing my allergy medicine, but I'm bringing this entire baggie. This is my first aid kit. It has everything for taking away a tick, um, and it has scissors, it, it's got a small toothbrush. It's got everything you need to treat blisters on your feet. Um, so I like to carry this when I'm on a hike. It's got, it also got like stitching, stitching band-aids. Uh, and since I have no idea what the terrain is going to look like, I'm bringing this too. Now I do think I've got everything that I want to bring with me. Of course, I'm going to be wearing the correct, correct hiking shoes and I'm going to be wearing very important walking socks. Like if you don't have the correct socks, you will end up with blisters. And then, you know, good hiking gear, like good pants, good, I'm probably gonna wear this sweater because it's got good temperatures. Um, yeah, so I gathered everything I need to. It might look like a lot for just a day hike, but it's gonna be 20 kilometers. So over terrain that I have no idea. I might be going straight through the forest, it might be all roads, I might have to climb a little bit. I'm gonna be walking the Heuglandsleden and I have already done a good amount of kilometers of the Heuglandsleden, which means that I know what the terrain looks like. I have had to climb, I've had to go through the middle of dense forest where I had to push leaves aside like this, uh, and sometimes you just walk over a normal road. So it's best to be prepared for everything. Um, like I said, it looks like a lot of gear for just a day hike, but I'm also doing this as a preparation and a training for when I want to do multi-day hikes. So then it's good. You always have to train with the equipment that you are bringing for a long hike. That way you know how it works and how to use it when you actually need to use it when you're on going on a big multi-day hike. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was informative. And uh, the next vlog, you will actually see me go out with all this stuff and go for a walk. I hope it's a beautiful one. I've not walked the section that, I've, that I'm gonna do before, um, but we're gonna discover it together. See you next time. Bye. 
YouTube says you might enjoy this video. Go ahead and give it a try.